What do you do when the odds are stacked against you? What do you do when you're $100,000 in debt? What do you do when you've been given only five years left to live? If you're Billy Misk, you fight. Courage comes in many forms. In 1923, it came in the size of a six foot, 180 pound man from St. Paul, Minnesota. It was delivered in the last punch, in the final bout of a young 29 year old's life. And it was heard in the contented concluding breaths of one of boxing's all time greats. Nicknamed the St. Paul Thunderbolt, Billy Misk entered the professional ring at the age of 18 as a middleweight. He fought often, and he fought hard. Because professional boxing was illegal in Minnesota, he never garnered much local support from the press. And yet, despite these obstacles, he continued to fight against some of the best. Those he faced said he was hard to hit and would never quit. After several years, he moved up to be a light heavyweight and then eventually fought as a heavyweight. He won 45 of his 53 professional bouts racking up an impressive 33 knockouts. And what's more, the St. Paul Thunderbolt was only knocked out by an opponent once in his 10-year professional career. In 1919, at the age of 24, Misk complained to his manager Jack Reddy of a nagging exhaustion. After some medical tests, he was given a death sentence. His kidneys were failing. He was diagnosed with Bright's disease. He was told he had no more than five years left to live. And that was only if he stopped boxing immediately and rested his body. Misk wanted to ensure that his wife Marie, his three young children would be left financially secure. So he did not take the doctor's advice to hang up his gloves. Instead, he began to fight with even more ferocity. He swore his manager to secrecy and kept his family in the dark. With high hopes of providing for his family, Misk used his savings to buy a car dealership. And while Misk was a fierce competitor in the ring, a savvy businessman he was not. The dealership only lost money, and Misk now found himself in debt to the tune of $100,000. In what should have been the prime of his life, Misk was now in a very deep hole of secrecy, failing health, and financial ruin. But Misk's Midwestern roots taught him how to do hard things. So Misk did what he did best. He stayed in the ring. He kept boxing. He was now in the fight of his life to save his family from his financial woes. For the next four years, he had to hide his illness, claiming he was training at a secret location. Some days were harder than others, but he kept fighting and winning and paying down his debt with his earnings. He managed to enter the ring 23 more times. The only knockout in his entire career came at the fist of Jack Dempsey. During the first radio broadcast of a heavyweight fight, Jack Dempsey hit Misk so hard that a large purple welt immediately appeared over his heart. I was afraid I'd killed him, Dempsey said after the fight. But Misk got back up. He kept fighting. It was the title bout for the World Heavyweight Championship, but Misk, health waning, could not recover in time. In the next minute, Dempsey knocked Misk out in the third round. At this point, Reddy begged Misk to retire, but Misk refused. He refocused and trained and accrued 19 wins over the next two years. He also earned enough money to pay off all of his debts. Then, 1923 began. Misk fought and won in January of that year, but his health quickly declined. Most days he could barely walk and get out of bed. He stopped training and competing. It seemed like his storied career was over. As 1923 drew to a close, Misk knew he didn't have much time left. And while his debts were paid off, Christmas was coming. There was no extra money. He wanted to give his family a special holiday so he called up Reddy and begged for some help. But not for a handout. He wanted to earn it. He wanted to fight one more time. 
He wanted one more chance to earn a prize to use for one last Christmas with his family. So after many months of time away, he took to the canvas again. On November 7th, 1923, Misk entered the ring for the final time to face Bill Brennan. Reddy and Misk's strategy was simple, go fast and go hard. They both knew he didn't have a long fight in him. It was back and forth for the first two rounds. Misk able to hold his own and avoid any major blows, but when the third round began, Brennan attacked. Misk faltered, collapsing into the ropes. It appeared to be over. Reddy screamed for Misk to give it up. But Misk, as he'd done so many times in his young life, would not quit. He would rise up one last time. He unleashed on Brennan, fighting for his kids, fighting for his wife, fighting for his legacy. And with his final punch in round four, Brennan was down and out for the count. A fist in the air. A hug from Reddy. A final wave to the frenzied crowd. He'd done it. He'd won. And with that, it was over. Misk exited the ring through the ropes one last time. Because of that last fight, the Misk household had a special Christmas that year. Billy bought his beloved wife Marie a piano. The kids were spoiled with gifts. They shared lots of good food and lots of laughter. It was a day full of memories. But Misk knew something his family did not. They would also remember it because it would be their last Christmas together. The next day, Miss called his manager, Jack Reddy, and told him he was dying. Reddy got him to the hospital. Misk confessed the truth to Marie. 55 days after the fight, and just six days after the Christmas Misk fought so hard to give his family, he died with a peaceful heart. His friend Reddy, and his devoted family by his side. Misk's record as a professional boxer was 72 wins, 15 losses, 14 draws, with 33 knockout wins. Misk was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2010 and the Minnesota Boxing Hall of Fame in 2012. To this day, Misk is still ranked as the 26th greatest heavyweight of all time. Beyond the statistics and accolades this young boxer accumulated during his short 29 years, his legacy runs deeper. And what do people remember most about Billy Misk? His courage, bravery, and dedication to his family. When the odds were stacked against Billy Misk, he did not hide away and wait for death. Instead, he laced up his gloves and hit the canvas one more time. What do you do when the odds are stacked against you? Billy Misk, the St. Paul Thunderbolt, met the raging storm the only way he knew how. He fought back. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click below to like the video and to subscribe to the channel to hear more inspiring sports stories.